Now, as we noticed in that last video, some of the numbers that we wrote out factors for had many, many factors. Some of the others, like the 7, only had 7, 1 times 7, and that was it. Well, this is going to be the difference between what's called a composite number and what's called a prime number. So, we need the definitions here. Composite numbers are numbers with a factor other than itself and 1. Prime numbers, on the other hand, are numbers with fact that have factors of only 1 in itself. So, in the last video, we wrote out the factorization of 7, and we said 7 is 1 times 7, and that's all. There are no other factors. So, this has factors of only 1 in itself. That tells us that 7 is a prime number. But now, whenever we did the 8, we came up with factors of 1 times 8 and 2 times 4. So this one had factors other than 1 in itself. So that tells us that 8 is a composite number. That's the difference between the two. Now, a couple of little things that we need to pay attention to. Our first prime number is 2, and that is the only prime number that's even. After the number 2, the only primes are odd numbers. Now, that doesn't mean that every odd number is a prime. If you think about the number 15, 15 could either be 1 times 5 or it could be 3 times 5. So that is not a prime number, that's a composite number. So just because it's an odd doesn't mean it's automatically a prime. But if it's even, it's automatically a composite because every single even number can be written as 2 times something. All right, another note before we move on. 0 and 1 are not considered prime or composite. They are neither. Um, our, our definition for prime numbers are it has factors of only 1 in itself. Well, 1 is 1 times 1. But it, it, when itself is 1, it makes it a little bit weird in the definition. And then also 0, well 0 can be 0 times anything. So, or you know, 1 times 0, or it can be, you know, 5 times 0. But the factors don't really mean anything because anything times 0 is 0. So these fall outside of the normal definitions of composite and prime, and we just say that they are neither. They don't fall in either one of those categories. All right, let's work on some examples here. We're going to decide whether this, each of these numbers is prime or composite. The first one, 9, is a composite number. Now the reason is because I can think of another factor of, of 9 that's not 1 times 9, and that would be 3 times 3. So this is composite. Now what about 10? 10 is a composite number because I can think of two things that multiply together to get 10 that are not 1 times 10. I can think of 2 times 5. Now 17. 17 is a prime number because the only factors of 17 are 1 times 17, and that's it. They have nothing else that we can multiply together to get that. All right, what about 0? Ah, we just talked about zero. We said it is neither prime nor composite. Neither one. Okay, what about 53? Well, trying to think of factors of 53, there actually are no others except 1 times 53, so this is a prime number. And lastly here we have 65. 65 is a composite number. Now, 1 times 65 is 65, but you know what? 5 times something is also 65, and I don't have to know exactly what that is, but I do know that when a number ends in a 5 or a 0, it is divisible by 5. So since it has another factor other than 1 and 65, it's automatically composite. We don't really have to know what those factors are. We just know that there are more.